Uh, yo yo yo, what is going on? It is your man Bad Place, right back at you with another video of AC Valhalla. So, anyways, uh, where we last stopped off, um, we just completed the New King era, and now currently we will be doing the. We will let Run be know that we we done everything. Anyways, updates for you guys. Uh, I just went consider off camera, off recording to collect this uh, new hidden one's armor. If you really want to know how to get it, I can actually, you know, show you a guide on the locations of where to get it. So I just got this armor, it's pretty sick, pretty sick. And I also got all the codec pages. So let's return the codec pages to item and let's do it continue mission. So if you are new, please like, comment, subscribe. And if you're my OG subs uh, subscribers, please enjoy the video and give that fat thumbs up. And also... Yeah, let me know what you want to play. Please enjoy the video. Hi, Tham. I have the codex pages you asked for. Six in total. Ah. Wonderful. We have so little writing from the original Hidden Ones. This will grow our understanding immeasurably. These documents may have been inked by the founders of the Hidden Ones, in fact. But their names are unknown to us. Lost to history. A deliberate choice on their part, I think. I'm hoping these documents shed some light on that mystery. I could not say. They're written in a language I do not understand. You know, the black market merchant Reda has an old piece of writing from the same era as the codex pages you found. Speak with him if you are curious to see it. Always nice to see a friendly face. So if you see any about, send them my way. Reda. Hytham says you have an old piece of writing from the early Hidden Ones. Oh, that old scrap? Yes, it's just a short letter from one Hidden One to another. One of my rarest artifacts. How did it find its way to you? A friend gave it to me for safekeeping. Bayek was his name. Egyptian fellow. Very kind. Haven't seen him in a long time. A very long time. Anyway, the letter is written in Demotic. So it may not mean much to you, but you're free to have a look. A warning, my beloved. I have heard numerous tales now of a secret codex circulating among the acolytes of our bureaus, both within and without the Empire of Augustus, called the Magus Codex. It names you directly as one of the founders of the Hidden Ones. Apart from putting your life in danger, it flies in the face of what we have tried to achieve with our brotherhood. We are justice seekers who shun the light of praise for our good works and who must live in the shadows of our triumphs. Should you see any pages of this codex, I advise you to destroy them. Keep the dream of our hidden ones alive. Now, I am not so naive to think this will be a simple task. Few men and women are suited to keeping such secrets for so long. And it may be that we will fail in the end, but we will have failed in the name of righteousness. Take care, my love. My Iset. My northern star. Even in my waning years, I am ever your Osiris. Let our Horus live on beyond us. I think of you often, my jewel. At sunrise and twilight, at new moon and full, when the rain falls and the breath of a moon rides across my neck, I remember you kissing me, just there, and I will take that feeling to my tomb.
Ah, glad to see you made it, Shelbert. Thanks to Sigurd. He was a good guide and even better company. He told me some incredible stories. The best ones were about you. Hopefully nothing too embarrassing. There were a few gems. Not to interrupt, Eivor, but what of Little Chestershire? The Alliance has won. The sons of Ragnar are friends to our clan. Glad to hear it. Well done to you both. At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king, but that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Shailbert, your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. My friends, hearken to me and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The Honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now calls us friend. And to the south, Soma Yalskona and the Danes of Grandebridge have pledged their oath to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of- You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? I do not claim to be Sigurd's equal, but I will not shy from the triumphs I have barely won, Dag. Let glory seek and find those who have earned it. If that means me, so be it. If that means you, any one of you, all the better. And so I raise my horn, first to Sigurd. May he return to us soon, and to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you. And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! Skull! You think me drunk, Eivor? Would it soften my blows if I was? Your words are blunt enough, but it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open, and I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. There is enough glory in the world to go around for all who earn it. And I have no doubt how much I am owed. Just as I thought, you're... Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? <laughs> Too many. Now come, the battle roars already. Bloody curse! What quarrel have Danes with us? Those who can fight, take up your weapons. All others, stay here! With me! There is nothing for you here but death! Come <laughs> on. 
Is that the last of them? The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. By their colors and markings, I believe they come from Geatland. But with none left alive to spill their secrets, we may never know why. Here is one! <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Ah. Ah. Have mercy, friend. And you may find... An ally with us. Mercy's earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East Anglia. Newly arrived and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? You bore me. Useless hound. Scratching your ass in search of silver. Put an end to this one. Your silence earns you no kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more. Who sent you? The wind sent us. And the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor. Give it to him. Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. Go, and do not return. Oh. I thank you. This is not mercy, it is death deferred. Whoever sent you, warn them of the slaughter that awaits, should any return. Oh, what tales I will tell. Send one of your scouts to follow him. We will find... To show mercy would endanger us. Soil our reputation as cowards. This was the only end possible. We could have learned something by tracking him. Now we know nothing. Sigurd would have acted as I did. That is all the justification I need. Sigurd is not here to make such a call. But I am. And if you cross me again, he will know about it. I see you, Eivor, and I know what you are. Put no stock in what Dag says. His bluster may be loud, but it blows softly. Get this cleaned up, and we'll talk of next steps. If you've a moment to spare... <laughs> Off we go. must row in these waters. 
Sing us a song. No racing the same.
statue of the Senate's use. I'm far too late. The Senate's Leofric warned me of will be looking for me now. I need to stay alert.
Okay guys, I guess I'll end the video right here, um, if you enjoyed it please like, comment and subscribe, just let me know if there's anything you need, I'll see you all in the next video guys.